Hi friends, you are watching YouTube channel MDS and Army Dental Exam Preparation. In this channel, we discuss different aspects of dentistry, dental job related news, how to prepare for MDS, Army Dental Core Interview. If you want to update, subscribe my channel, like my videos, and give your valuable comments below. In this video, I will discuss about the drugs and emergency equipment must be readily available in your dental clinic for practicing a very safe dental treatment. What are the equipments you should have in your dental clinic for emergency conditions? Oxygen cylinder and regulator suitable for delivering high flow of oxygen, syringes and needles for drawing and administering drugs bag mask device with oxygen reservoir basic airway adjuncts oropharyngeal and oro uh, nasopharyngeal airways and equipment for recording blood pressure spacer device to deliver salbutamol so uh, my advice to dental practitioners or dental students to do some courses like basic life support advanced life support or uh, other courses for uh, learning how to uh, how to use this type of instruments because we are not used to do this now i will give you a list of essential emergency drugs that should be in your emergency kit in your dental practice what are the drugs you should keep in your emergency kit oxygen cylinder of course you need this almost any medical emergency you need oxygen it may be a asthmatic attack or any panic attack or fainting for most of the medical emergency you will need oxygen and you have to give 100% inhalation for that you need some equipments just I mentioned earlier oxygen cylinder bag mask next life saving drug is epinephrine or adrenaline it's a life saving drug in case of any anaphylaxis attack or status asthmaticus or cardiac arrest the vial of epinephrine is very cheap but it is very valuable in case of emergency when a patient with asthmatic attack in your dental clinic is not responding to albuterol or salbutamol inhalation then you must have to give adrenaline or epinephrine the dose of epinephrine is 0 0.1 milligram IV or 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 milligram IM in this video in this video I'll just naming the drugs what are the drugs you need to keep in your emergency kit but next video I'll talk in details of each drug how to administer what is the dose and what is the indication in proper way now the next life-saving drug is antihistamine example is diphenhydramine or chloramphenamine these are also life-saving drug in case of allergy allergic reactions but in case of anaphylaxis epinephrine is the first line of drug and second line drug is steroid and antihistaminics so in case of mild to moderate allergic reactions you can give antihistaminic chloramphenamine and diphenhydramine and the dose is 25 to 50 milligram IV IM and 10 to 20 milligram IV IM the first 25 to 50 milligram IV IM there is a dose for diphenhydramine and 10 to 20 milligram IV IM is the dose for chloramphenamine now the next life saving drug is albuterol and salbutamol in case of asthmatic attack you have to give salbutamol inhalation asthmatic bronchospasm indication two sprays and the route of administration is of course inhalation aspirin it's a life saving drug in case of myocardial infarction 160 to 325 milligram the dose now what are the additional emergency drugs you have to keep in your 
emergency kit glucagon in case of hypoglycemia in unconscious patients you have to give 1 mg iv or im glucagon then atropine in case of clinically significant bradycardia you have to give atropine 0.5 mg iv or im now this term clinically significant bradycardia what is the meaning of that bradycardia you know less than 60 uh, pulse rate if uh, less than 60 then it is bradycardia clinically significant means when symptoms is arising symptoms of bradycardia and arising in patient is feeling very uncomfortable very uncomfortable and she is just like uh, unconscious type of stage and the, the rate is down 50 40 you have to give atropine in this stage if ephedri when clinically significant hypotension that means hypotension you know uh, the systolic pressure when 100 uh, less than 100 mg of mercury and diastolic when less than 60 mg of mercury you can say it's hypotension but clinically significant means less than that that means the systolic may be 90 80 like like that and there is symptom in this case you have to give ephedrine 5 mg iv or 10 to 25 mg im i am saying in this video this indications and everything is very briefly i'll talk in detail next video now hydrocortisone adrenal insufficiency recurrent anaphylaxis 100 mg iv or im 100 mg iv or im then morphine and nitrous oxide angina like pain unresponsive to nitroglycerin and the dose is titrate 2 mg iv 5 mg im 35 percent and inhalation nitrous oxide inhalation and morphine the dose just said lorazepam or midazolam it's for a status epilepticus when a patient have a history of epilepsy what we do what you do in dental clinic before uh, going dental treatment we administer anti-epileptic drug that means in the course of taking anti-epileptic drug we treat the patient very comfortably but sometimes it happens due to stress or other factor in dental chair or uh, inside dental clinic maybe some phobia is there to trigger the epileptic conditions and status epilept epilepticus means when the epilepsy epileptic attack is continuously normally epilepsy we see that it's self controllable after some time but in case of status epilepticus it is going continuously in this case you have to give lorazepam or midazolam iv 4 mg im iv or 5 mg im iv you can use diazepam 2 iv <coughs> then flumazenil is a in case of benzodiazepine overdose you have to use flumazenil 0.1 mg IV so I'll repeat equipment oxygen cylinder syringes bag mask device basic airway adjuncts equipment for recording blood pressure special device to deliver salbutamol essential emergency drugs oxygen epinephrine nitroglycerin antihistamine albuterol or salbutamol aspirin and additional emergency drugs is glucagon atropine ephedrine hydrocortisone morphine and nitrous oxide lorazepam or midazolam and flumazenil these are the list of equipment and emergency drugs additional emergency drugs you should keep in your dental clinic in case of emergency it will help you and these are not very costly some equipments may be costly 
but the drugs is very cheap some of the drugs may be costly little costly but the maximum drugs is very cheap you can keep in your clinic it's not that much difficult or that that much uh, expensive so you can keep it thank you very much for listening to me if you like this video for encourage me you can subscribe like and comment below thank you while making this video i missed two things one is in case of angina attack in dental clinic you have to use nitroglycerin spray or sublingual, sublingual tablet second thing i i did this video with the help of ida official website thanks